This is not a very holy time because after a good lunch, I'm sure you you feel like going out and have fresh air. Uh, this is a material that I shared with some of the Burmese pastors, not necessarily Assemblies of God, uh, several months ago. But I'll, I also realized that this material is not readily known so I, I, I feel it is important that we share this message. Uh, I'm going to introduce what is called the, the, the one-third world. one-third world is the world. Um, I don't think I heard this anywhere yet, but it would be important for us to think about it, pray about it, and also find God's will for each one of us. Is the screen uh, coming out there too? Uh, no, all At right. This moment, okay, you know. the, the next one is about myself. What is important may be my email address. Just in case you like to uh, discuss this further with me, I will be very happy. Yeah, uh, Email to I am a Korean. Uh, I studied the Old Testament. Uh, we moved to Oral Roberts University about eight months ago. Uh, here, or you are, or so, uh, it has been our delight to find our friends already in the city. Uh, Julian, I served as missionaries to the Philippines uh, for almost uh, 30 years. Uh, Philippines uh, missionary Part of our ministries was teaching at Asia Pacific Theological Seminary. Uh, we, we taught with Chindokam and Mary Kam. We had wonderful Burmese students, a stream of them. I remember Hao Lian Kam and his wife, Mary Kam, were also our students. So we just had wonderful, wonderful friends, especially with the Zomi. Uh, I, I remember every time we eat at the school cafeteria, we normally look around to see if there is any Burmese student with chili powder. <laughs> Yeah, there's one particular guy, his name is So Ting San O. He uh, always has that powder with uh, dried uh, shrimp. Shrimp, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, so Ting San O, he uh, always has that powder with dried shrimp. 
So every time we talk about uh, whether Chin or Burma and all that, I can think of the smell of a nice chili. So I'm going to uh, as after we moved to Tulsa, uh, start working at Oral Roberts University, I assumed a new title. Uh, here, Oral Roberts University, I can say, I can say, I can say, I can I can say, I I can so my title is Distinguished Professor of Global Christianity. So that's what uh, I want to talk about. Ben ben yeah, Distinguished Professor of Global uh, Christianity. Um, it is important for us to see the bigger picture of what the Holy Spirit is doing. Without the bigger picture, oftentimes we are bogged down to small details and sometimes we overlap, duplicate, or create a small competitions. Uh, but uh, when, when we see much bigger picture of what the Holy Spirit is doing, uh, we realize that <coughs> the task is much larger. Amen. It will take everybody coming together Amen. because in the world today, only one third of the population know Jesus. Tuna hiya khasiyang to na sep na imu tak che imu na song ong tang zai na to hit tak chia ngina i sep na ding zo alian zo imu a mi ta dong ki pai khom thin ki kai khom the hiya. Tu da na i sep chia na ngon in zong lei tung bu pi se thum su a se khatina Jesus ong san the na ding chiang pe dei ten a sem the pan tu chiang din mun ki pan ni. I realize that this is particularly true to immigrant communities, whether it's Chinese or Ethiopians, or Koreans, or Burmese, oftentimes we have our own small world and we operate within it, and oftentimes we forget much larger plan of God. So the future of your community and the mine Korean community and other immigrant communities may be these kids, the second generation. So even if uh, you do not understand everything, uh, we look to you as God is going to fulfill the call of the whole community in your time. Amen. I remember the Korean Christian communities in this country went through a lot of changes. And one time there was a big discussion whether they are going to use Korean or English in their Sunday schools. That, that is a fundamental question of what is a church. So I am unsure, you, as you open up, you will also have a conversation with other immigrant communities and learn from them while you also share 
your experience. Today we are going to look at three things. The first one is we are going to look at uh, the global Christianity, uh, more, much bigger historical picture. And then we are going to look at what is uh, this one third world challenge. Yeah, uh, the wall you mean by the the walls like we we'll build we build wall, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. and yeah, the, the, the third one is who holds the key mm. to to lead the global christianity forwards uh, amen before I go, I'd like to share that I'm so proud and thankful that I'm living at this time, and I'm a nation, and I'm a spirit-filled believer. Amen. He must have a pie of Mabani Pai Mana, Kinky Gell and Cape and Asia Panina, Asia Mihing, Toko Mina, Ha Tokidim, Umnanepa, to me, Hakahi. Amen. Could be Napedi Nego. Amen. All right, let us look at next one. It's a very short video which shows how Christianity spread in the last 2,000 years. Uh, he is a very Christian, a Christian, a a Christian. Can you click? Uh, is it connected? It, it, it does not take to the link? No? All right. Um, oh, thank you very much. That is showing mm. up there. But uh, still, you cannot play the video? Video can go the way, yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh. They got it. It will take, all right. Must be a female uh, link. All right, yeah. Okay, uh, the white is Christianity, all right? Yeah, I can't call a band.
Thank you very much. Amen. Um, I'm sure you can find this link and feel free to uh, watch and uh, see which year, on, on the left the top there is a year, which year, how much Christianity spread all over the world. You can look at that. Uh, yeah, a Christian day, late to move up on that, because I am see to an eye, mutating in there. Okay, uh, let us go back to our uh, slide. All right, um, first of all, there, there is a very clear move of global Christianity in every thousand years between South and North. He ate the period of the Nuntana here, Eki Hazi, Aki Hazi, Apian, as Saklam and Hanglam here, Koykoya, Akimutehi, Kumtul, Sialin Akimutehi. Of course, it started from what is called the Holy Land or Jerusalem. Bang, Siam, Akipatian up in Holy Land in Jerusalem, but in Akipan Kavi Bay. Okay, uh, that is still the map, right? Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. All right, you, we can move to the next. Okay. In the first thousand years of church history, uh, Christianity flourished in Northern Africa and Asia. Uh, yeah, the Christian Against the, we think that Christianity is a Western religion. It was really a Southern and Eastern religion. Okay, you can exit the Vimeo. We all know that uh, sixth and seventh century there was Islam rising. Kum zalom zaguk zasagi lai te polina Islam te polpen hatuhi. But still, it uh, for the thousand years, it was a southern religion. It is it is good to know who are the main players in Christian mission. We know from the fourth century, Christianity was a Roman state religion. It was no longer persecuted, but protected. But Rome, Roman church was not a missionary church. Roman RC popular in Japan, a more missionary popular than Hilohi. It is interesting for us to learn that it is not a well-protected church that a missionary church. Ah, here, he te popular zong at hoi taka a mau le a mau aki hum he na ahi ang na missionary nesem na kong mang pen tuaza PSM lohi. It was the persecuted churches that are missionary churches. And who are Muni Santa is a persecuted church? Yes, persecuted. Yeah, Aki Borsi, a Polpi, Gim the Gim Borsi and Network Polpi, the Hon Hat. Many scholars say that in the first 300 years of the church, while church was still persecuted, Paul Hat Scholar Tena, Kum Zatum Lai, Hunsung Tena, he Christian Tep and Kiborsia, he Totoki Sayena, Kikumna, Donkinena, Naisuna. About, about one third of Roman citizens in large cities are either Christians or they are open to Christianity. To a Rome gama atten, Christian tena, setum so secatina, ama popen, akibol siamo aikele, 
In fact, the Roman children grew up with listening to Bible stories and a singing Christian songs. It's very important to keep that in our minds. In, in the second uh, millennium, another thousand years, which ended not long ago, Christianity was a Western and Northern religion. This is, this is the Christianity we remember as a Western religion. And also, this is the period where mission was born. It was really the European uh, nations that became the superpowers. In fact, the Christianity Christianity spread through the European colonial powers. Yeah, And we need to remember that it, during this time, Christianity was the religion of the powerful. It's very different from the first 300 years that Christianity was persecuted as a religion of the weak. Even your country, I mean, uh, Judson's, how sacrificially he gave his life, and the many missionaries did the same. No, na kol gambang wati lang. Judson ni na bangza tiyang a apo ka piyang kaya pa adang missionary ten zong bangza tiyang na mapo ka ng piyaw yam gim min tali na ng sam yam tipen ite ite sa i. But still, he was viewed as somebody who is coming from a powerful country. Although he struggled against his own colonial power, still Burmese viewed him as from the powerful nation. So until recently, missionary means is from the West, white color, uh, rich, and advanced economy and civilization. Uh, just imagine that you from Chin State uh, move to the Burma Plain and say that you are a missionary to Burma people. I'm not sure how Burma people will think about you. Yeah, no pen. Come to Gampan Chin, Pinapan Paisu, Dinhuazanga, and a Paiwitak Chair, Copenville, 
missionary te hiung ba chi leo chin call te bang zai na ngum tam because in many minds missionaries means they are coming from a powerful country more advanced more education more money bigger car and even military he ama nga suna mi tam pi nga suna missionary che pen ni tum na lam panang pai din ha mi kang te ding in appeal hi ding na jong siam ni na jong ama khin mi ma ma hi hin ding ama pen a top te ma hi ding chi dam nga suna tu a pen kine imu da na hi so in in the last 1000 years christianity was really uh, the religion of the west abisa kum tul khalai kho na christian to tapi do dan thu mi te dan chi pe ni tum dalam a te i biak na hi chi na imu na dan hi hi now this world christianity became a religion of the south again in our lifetime ta chiang na hi uh, we need to look at the next slide. Uh, some scholars believe that it is early 1980s. Now, from that point, the more Christians live in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Uh, Scholar Tampi Takta Muna, a two mitampi Takta Pen, Asia to, Tokitak in Africa, Tatiang, and he hung Lamate, a hung Lamo, he America hung Lamate, he didn't eat chip and Umna Muna. He today about more than six out of ten Christians live in this south. Tunina Zalaka, me gook pen, he down America Lama. Then he chip and Imuna, he Akimukian. And all, of course, more missionaries are now coming from this south. Even if they don't have enough money mm. or civilization or power, more missionaries are coming from Asia, Africa, and Latin America. You and I are living in this very crucial time. In fact, this happens only a thousand years. Once in thousand years. I don't know how lucky you are, but I feel very lucky because I'm living at the point that something happens once in every one thousand years. Amen. Amen. It is not only that we are living in the time that something is changing. But uh, God is placing us at the center of what he is doing. Amen. It is not because your country is powerful or rich or have more military but because you and I are weak. We praise the Lord for rich countries who sent missionaries in the past to bring gospel to us. And we thank them, we honor them, Amen. and we praise them. Amen. 
But God is raising you and me and our children to uh, correct Christian mission to Jesus' way. Amen. Tu ni na nang le kei pen tu lai ta kina to pai na ama a ding ina mission na sem na de pen Jesus da ni na tu ina onkel nu amun santa kun ta ka inung ta ayom ta i. Amen. Jesus himself said that I came to serve and to give my own life so that many will be saved. Jesus ni na kei pen no te na gupkhian na nanga na de kei ma kong pa ya kong se mi gupkhian na nanga na de mi tam pi ta then gupkhian na nga de kong pa hi chi hi he has all the power but he did not use that power aman wang le na khem peu ne hi ahi jana tu wang le na aman asang hi lo hi in fact the biggest thing he did was to give surrender his life to the worldly authorities eh ama i ki am na bayam chi le tunei pa i tunei na apa tunei na bang dan mana sem dina ong ki ap ki hi amen just remember my earlier story that it was the slave girls who uh, preached the gospel to roman families to adena amasa kongen hua sila nume te na rom mite i in sunga gup khian na thu gen tu ama missionary sem na ongen kining and god is calling us to do the same ei te dong to pan tu bang te ka sem di rong de hi amen amen we are going to look at one map. Uh, yeah. This is an important map. Um, Christianity started on the right hand, uh, that is Jerusalem. Yeah, Jerusalem. And each time, uh, the whole world Christians are divided between south and north and east and west. So ten and ten in the west, ten in the north, well, east, west, another ten north and ten south. So they they uh, find the uh, the center. Okay, in the first 1,000 years, the center of global Christianity was somewhere in Turkey. And next 1,000 years, you know it's going up to the north and also to the west. So until early 20th century, the center was in Europe. Then uh, the center begins to move to the south as Africa becomes fast evangelized. And then it is moving to the east as Asia is growing. Right, let us look at the next uh, slide. All right. This is a little different. Uh, it is a, in the last 2,000 years, how how Christian world Christians live between south and north? Uh, here, uh, you can um, see yeah. until 2000, there are more Christians in the south than in the north. Christian pen tam sem sem zo ki mu hi and then next 1000 years uh, there are more christians living in the north than south uh, here at uh, aki kum tul ni uh, kum tul khat chiang na khanglam sang na saklama christian pen tam zo chi ki mu leo leo hi 
Then from 1981, remember where you were, from 1981, more Christians live in the South. So we made a very, very quick trip through the 2,000 years of history. I, I hope you are not, you're still with me. All right, uh, then let us look at the next topic, one third uh, challenge. Okay, one third world challenge. Achina, to hear, he said, I'm so bang, be to Kisayena. Saying home, more, Kitona, had any knee. All right, uh, let's move. Go ahead and move. Uh, yeah, let us look at here for a while. In the last hundred years, Christianity expanded very rapidly. So throughout the world, uh, there were about four times more Christians uh, at the end of uh, 20th century. African Christianity grew 42 times. Oh, Christian, uh, Africa, Japan, 42 times. Uh, 42 times. times. Uh, uh, and uh, you can see how uh, how Christianity in this South, Africa, uh, Asia, and Latin America is growing fast. Yeah, uh, Africa, Asia, Latin America, Lama, to Lama, Christian, the Akanda, no Kimutei. Let us look at the next uh, slide. Okay, yeah. Now, this is a slide that I created uh, not long ago. Uh, this this shows how Christianity grew against the total population of the world. Yeah, uh, the line across the chart is one third of world population. Yeah. Uh, so you can say that in the last 2,000 years, Christianity was growing towards one-third of world population. That means... Uh, Christianity has not yet reached one third of the world population. Oh, sorry. Uh, that is the one third wall. Christianity, Christianity was trying to to go over this challenge. Yeah, Now that that shows a lot of things in the class we discussed a lot. I normally ask, normally ask, what happened to that point where Christian growth was stopped and begin to decline? What happened? The impact was so strong in the, in the last, in the next seven or eight hundred years, it never grew. Uh, to the previous 
বেসা হুন লাই তো মসাঙ্গে না খাং তো লোজো না তো মূল সান্তে মানে হাক সাপি তো পি হাত কিনে হি বিগিন টু উইকভার এন দেন দে ওয়াস আনাদার ইনফ্যাক্ট ইস ফোরথ সেনচুরি হুন লাই তক আহা আহা লাই তক ফোরথ কুম কুম তুলে জি কিম পো লাইম and i am sure that you can ask your children to look at world history and tell you what happened na pangte dong leo chin to mun san tak te nga hia bang chi hiam chi khok hei zona ki gen thei na di ki do thei na di ki kup thei na di mi in both cases it was islam e to hun san tak na islam te por tha thun lai tak khao mo i was in beijing two weeks ago I was to have a meeting with my former student at Asia Pacific Theological Seminary. He was organizing a spirit filled believers to do mission. He he sent his missionaries to many countries uh Islamic countries. To a laimun santaka aman Islam gamte a missionary po khapte na kha khian to te to ki sai ka ki kumui. Also he organized big crusades in Thailand in uh, Africa and recently in Pakistan. Crusadian PP te khon na ball in Africa khon a hi zona Thailand khon a zona zandu in Pakistan yang nei hi in fact i saw the video of a large crowd in Pakistan coming and dancing and and Amen. receiving the blessing Amen. of the holy spirit amen pakistan na mi te lam ja jang jai jai na tambi tak ten kha sang na om ja ja kamu tak sia na thanga hoi ma ma chi kamu hi amen But we are talking about a missionary movement from a persecuted nation. Atunina again pen here missionary na sebna te popela ki bol sia gampani na bangsi pai khiat. Not long ago two of his missionaries were captured by Islamic state. Ah tu ba solo lai te na Islam ga captain na hua missionary te ni na na matsakina and they were killed. Ama te tha sakui. So the Chinese Christians know what price you need to pay in order for you to obey God's call to mission. To amun santa ka oma hi a hi Christian te na missionary un kit pai kit pai khale pasian thuman ni ko ja chiang dong chi pen ber atel masakoku chi ja chiang na gen set kuli. One lady missionary uh said this before she was killed a missionary nume hatena akitha maina bang gen yam chile if i can give my life for god's kingdom and the more people can come to the saving knowledge of jesus christ i would be glad to lay my life a kei tha na ka thong na ha na mi tam bi ta ku phian na nga na di a hi nak le kanun tang na กิทาดิงเซียงรังกะกิซอฮีจินแกนฮีอาเมนแอนไมเฟรนด์อีสไลค์ออลโมสท์เฮาส์อะเรสต์ไรท์นาวอินไชน่าเอ่อตุไลเ
can global Christianity grow beyond the one third? For the first time in his 2,000 years of history, and I believe that it is going to happen in our lifetime. Amen. 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 Let it be. But it will take each one of us to do our part. It is not going to be Western churches to send their missionaries with all the money and with all the equipment and do the work. Amen. It is going to be our turn. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, what is important also is that you, especially, are sent by God to revive the Western Church. Amen. Amen. I know that there are more challenges in language, in job. There are so many challenges. It is, however, you, parents' responsibility to remind your children Amen. that the families were sent by God Amen. to fulfill his missionary call. Amen. American churches will not look at you and me as somebody sent by God to help their churches. American missionaries it is just like Jesus came to his own world, but his world did not recognize him. That is your blessing and mine. Amen. We don't come with power, with money, with white face, mm. with the superiority. Mm. We come with our own weakness, mm. but willing to serve Amen. and obey. Amen. Ete popen hau na siam na pil na te te hi zon te te amau da na itchika na maika na to hi zon na vang let na te te pai kei mahang. Atane em sama pai hi hang. A hi zon ina tu alak pan ma ina pasien ina ma vang let na Okay, uh, next slides. All right, next. 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 Okay. Uh, if you need, the PowerPoint file is with the pastor. So okay. feel free to take it with you. Let us talk about our time a little more. As we saw in the chart, we are living in a very special time. Special About 100 years ago, uh, world Christianity grew beyond one third for a while and kept back. 
se thum zo se khat bek va val in a tuana khang to na pian tu ke ki mo ki this time we like to see that it will not only grow beyond the one third but also stay on and continue to grow amen tu na bang mun nam yam chile se thum so se khat le tung e population se thum se se khat jang ba ni tu lai pan ni na khang to to khang to to ma to lai ding mun nam hi hang amen okay let us see why i believe it is possible the next slide. Okay, why do you think it's possible? By faith? I will present the two keys to this challenge. Okay. Next slide. Asia oh, is yeah. one key. Amen. Good being in the way in the same amount. Hey, hitting up here in the dinner. Hey, I shall meet the pen. The Marcana, Tau Tang Pian G. Shadow, I guess I go nang now. Okay, don't, don't get excited too quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because all these 2,000 years, the reason why Christianity never grew beyond the one third is partly because of Asia. Oh, because Asia today has more than sixty percent of world population. Christians in Asia is less than nine percent. Ah, he is only in Asia. Gama tapiro is in. Yeah, kai nung kua sang na tom zuri ulai mo ki is. You know, world 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 rate is three thirty three point three percent. Eh, lay tung bup a pen bel som tum le tum le datama ni tum ay na. So Asia is only one fourth of the world. Average. So it is important that for each Asian country, including Burma, to to have a target to grow to the world rate, which is 333 percent. I remember uh, last Sunday I was in Chicago with one of your friends. Uh, uh, um, I shared a passage from Matthew 5. Uh, it says that the town on the hill will not be hidden because it is in the high place. When you uh, light a candle, you do not put under your chair, but you put somewhere in the high. I don't know why God placed the Chin people on top of the mountains, not <laughs> in the Burma Valley. <laughs> I don't know why in Myanmar you people were more open to the Lord than those who are in the lowlands. I don't know why uh, most of Burmese I meet in the UK, in Europe, and in this country are zombies. 
Ya kamu mana UK jom kita Europe yang koy koy kita pergi jadi tuat tengah hari USA jom kita kamu tuat pen call kami kamu tuat pen Zoomi je le call kita kamu cint Zoomi cint eh eh kau ada orang la la I think that there is a plan God has for you. Ken kau mui na pasien ken na kan hidin cint kau mui kau mui Amen. Keluai. It's a very important plan because God wants to expand His Amen. church beyond uh, this this one third wall uh, for the first time in 2,000 years of history. He kum tul ni i tang chua. He se tum sua se khat i akheng vala pai sang nuam ina topan nang se mi di hi chi na kau ma ka ngai sun thai zel hi. I told you I was in in China. And now many believe that the Chinese Christianity may have already grown beyond nine percent of its population. I preached in a house church in Beijing. You know, it's illegal. But how, how, how can you hide this church with 1,500 people and in the whole floor of, of a building and a running mission program and, and a seminary, you cannot hide it. They were organizing a missionary training program because there are already 400 missionary volunteers. It's not like you people getting a passport is illegal to do mission. It's, it's everything is illegal. But still, they are in the forefront of mission. Amen. Well, I'm going to say that you will know my hunger to all my son to go to the case. I'm going to say that 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 Asia can play an important role to grow beyond one third. To a he money na a Asia meeting a set to so say that King Valley in a same day didn't see call me. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be in the park of Ben Apeni. Because Asian churches are becoming very fast missionary churches. You, you and I need to understand that the Lord has already commissioned you and sent you as a mission workers. Amen. When God wants to do something very special, He first moves His people. Whether it's it, it Abraham, whether it's Joseph, whether it's Moses, God moves His people. And God has moved you. And you are part of God's plan. Amen. 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 And we shouldn't forget, uh, therefore, the migration is part of God's plan. Second key is the spirit-filled Christianity. Oh, Amen. 
Uh, in the last hundred years, uh, Christianity grew because of uh, primarily because of Pentecostal and Charismatics. Uh, it is interesting that about two weeks ago in Vatican, uh, the Catholic Church celebrated the 50th anniversary of charismatic movement. Oh, it was two weeks ago, right? Yeah, two yeah. weeks ago. Amen. The scholars all agree that Catholic Church grew because of these charismatic believers. Charismatic to a sandante hung in a Catholic poppy, the RC poppy, the hung to his scholar, then I got a kid to give me his hung table. I did a little bit of study in, in Brazil and also in West Africa. I was a West Africa and Nitum Nalam here in Brazil. Uh, I compared the Catholic Church and Assemblies of God churches. Uh, in Burkina Faso, uh, in West Africa, uh, average size of the Assemblies of God church was about 70 people. Uh, Africa, West Africa, AG for P. Tepin, Pian Mianjilian. For Catholic Church, it is almost 1,000 people for each church. It doesn't mean that Catholic churches are much larger. It simply means Assemblies of God churches are everywhere in the small villages and the storefronts. That's why there is a smaller number. Assemblies of God churches just imagine that small villages already people are operating and evangelizing and witnessing. Where if, if there are two or three families, you start already uh, a preaching point, right? <laughs> No, for the Catholic believers, you have to go to the town to attend the Mass. Uh, this is how, how the spirit-filled Christianity operates. It is not that the church waits for the worshippers. But the church moves where people are. Tunina, yeah, me on Bia Pia Pidin, King Akil and Apo Pen, and me on Naki by his or he, I mean. Therefore, there are far more Christian workers in the Pentecostal and charismatic churches than uh, historic churches. Eh, Pohate, eh, AG Sung Po P Hong Pentecostal Han Chat Om Te Po Pia Pasena Sem Te Pen here Adang a Po P Chimanina Tamayuja Po P Tedan Sang Nakitamzomo he And also for Pentecostal churches if you have fifty people in the church you have fifty evangelists. Amen Hey Pentecostal Po Pete Hombel Members Home Nayomla Iveka Evangelist De Hipa Lian Yang Amen. They will talk about Jesus whether in the classroom or in the marketplace <laughs> or anywhere. When you are in the airport, if somebody says, Praise the Lord, you know that that person is a spirit filled. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If, if, if a person uh, is a sick and somebody is standing by and a laying hand and a praying, you know 
ตาเตอร์สปิริตเปียร์มิชินาก็ต้องเลยตัวคุณของงานน่ะเธอทุกแห่งสักปานอมลีเลยนั่นมูตักเจ้าเบลโอ้ฮิเตเบลขาตะก
There is just one illustration I have from my friend. illustration <coughs> This friend teaches in Emory uh, University right now. Emory University. He's from Africa. Africa, <coughs> And he studied Christian African immigrants in this country. Christian He came with four paradigms. Uh, what's the paradigm? Uh, models of immigrant oh. churches. Uh, me, uh, me, Okay, uh, his name is uh, written there, the last, Jeho Hansels. Uh, Hansels. <laughs> One model is Eli Samuel model. Hmm. Uh, Samuel model? Uh, Eli, 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 oh. the prophet Eli and, and the prophet Samuel. Okay, uh, yeah. Khatina, uh, Eli, Eli, Le, Samuel, E. Ta'ina. Okay, I, I will explain. Okay, In First Samuel, we know the prophet Eli was very old. He could not see. He could not hear. Even his spiritual sensitivity is long gone. Samuel, in his place, uh, there is a very young boy uh, by the name of Samuel. Do you remember Samuel heard God called him? Samuel And Samuel ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Samuel Eli No, I did not call you. And this happens. Second time and the third time. Only then he realized that it is God who is calling him. Then what happened? A war broke out. Two sons of Eli uh, took the ark to the war. Uh, Philistines captured the war and uh, killed the two sons and many soldiers. When Eli heard all this, he fell down and he died. Eli Okay. This prophet is old, he has no power, he could not see, he could not hear, he could not even obey what God is saying. Uh, he, uh, prophet Kamsang Papen Upa Khanghamta Zong Mutainol Ahi Zongina Amaina Tumanani Lohai. But God loved Israel and he sent young boy. Samuel. Samuel was awake when Eli was sleeping. When Eli could not hear, Samuel heard from the Lord. Dr. Hansel says that immigrant Christians are like Samuel to, uh, to bring new life to the church in this country. Yeah, yeah, Hansel, Samuel immigrant Amen. 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 Amen.
Now that is your call. ตัวเป็นประเทศนุ่งสำนาเฮียวอาเมน And we like to read history in many years later that because of the Zomi Christians, Amen. churches in the Tulsa area received a new revival. Amen. Wow, hun jana sot jana tang tu ki kel na ding e imun opina hi Tulsa a om Zomi po pite na kalona lian pi ong nei na hi bang dan kha sang wi hi chi pen ong ki kel ding pen. Um ina tua di ingai sun di ingai di ingiang ingai sun koli amen. And I like to hear that because of the Zomi Fellowship, American Assemblies of God experiences new revival. Amen. Yeah, Zomi te na hi American popi te te ai kipo kham he bang im na sunga hi American te na Zomi te tung ton zong revival. Hello, na lian pi ong ngai niu chiu mi amen. Amen. And I like to see that your vision for mission is not just a back to Myanmar. Eh, tu nak kamu nak pina? Nampi saya nanti nak saya nak tahu. Kau akan bekerja di sini kalau pina? Oi, angsur pia ni. But think of your children going all over the world along with other. Eh, ngai suni nana tate. Oh ya, leh tu muntu am tu pay ding si pen tu pen ngai suna umun. Amen. Now I'd like to see that, and I want to walk with you for this exciting call. Hey, do I mean here? Uh, I want to, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to be part of what you are doing. Hey, pasian ni nahi lemun santai kang sem nape? Tapi ato pan ong sang ding situ ate imun wami. And the PhD program that I am designing right now for Oral Roberts University is exactly to empower. This immigrant communities, spirit filled, and to be out to the world. Amen. To lai taka hia or robas university akin ka se pen bel hi immigrant for pit a gam nang panapai te na ka to ki dim te in PhD te do ngah di na lay tu mun tuam tuam tu panas em ding si pen ka design hing. Amen. Amen. And personally. As my friend Chin Do is no longer around, I like to see a good Burmese professor in this university. Amen. Hallelujah. Jai pen ka lo mohi ma ma Chin Do inang nu sekin ama hiya awar yom nol ahi zong ina. Hun ka tak siang in awar yu a professor ding zong mite la ka tu abang ma ka to kirim te kar kamun wami. Amen. Kuai hi diam tu a. Hallelujah. All right, we are having fun. Um, I, just want, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to uh, share my heart with you. Tuni na hi kun wa nong nga sang nata kalung dama kalung simpan ni kalung tangto pan ni kalung dam na kong gen na. And I like to talk to the younger generation. To think much higher for your life's goal. Amen. Tunina ayah abah nak temui kat kang no lam tia ding na. Nenun tang nama am asang zat namu teh na ding na tom kat enggan enggan nom laing. You know how your parents' generation struggle to survive in this culture. Nenun apa teu na nenun tang na ding na hak sata kena jauh ka nu cip pen nong na telohi. It is not fun. To go to a work where sometimes your parents cannot understand what is being said. Hmm. Khat bi bi chen anu na pa teo na sem na pa yu a. To ke te khat bi bi chen again wat hei lo lak wo abba pa yu se pa kong upen bel abba hi sen bel lo hi. Remember, your parents must have been thinking how many times to go back to Myanmar, but they decide to remain here for you. Hmm. Tuni nengai sulle, cint. Nenulin apa tu? Nak call gam kong pai kik ding pen. Bang zave nengai sun dia. Telke nute. Ahi zong ina. Amau hi om nau pen. No ading ahi. Therefore know that it is your generation who will fulfill the call of God to your whole community. 
Amen. Do it, man, and Nuna Patanga is now. Hun had a chance, no dear Huna. But she and young Sapna be no hitting a semina. No, it's just an Italian way of his own. He comes to a same dinner, but she and Sapna Aki. A tongue to take a dinner, no dear dinner, my lamb Telun. And make sure that you girls and boys will grow up and become professors in major universities Amen. in this country. Amen. 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 Can we pray for them? Let's all stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are under 20, please come forward so that we can pray for you. Yes. 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 And that includes one year old. Yes, please. Come forward. Come forward. Closer. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, come forward. Come forward. Now, may I ask the parents to come and stand by them? Hey, anula pate akia nga ang payo la na tate kaya ang dingdiwo le. Please come. Anula pate ang ahi teja ang payo kang kang nute. Please come and lay your hand of blessing upon your children. And pastors, please come and bless, bless your young people. I know we'll end up come, everybody coming. Feel free to come in the front so that everybody, everyone will have somebody praying for them. Come, come please. Come, 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 please. Amen. Amen. Praise Praise the Lord. The Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless them. 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 Let us in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, your glorious calling will be fulfilled in this life. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 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 Your blessing, oh, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, I pray that your blessing be upon them. Oh, God, your plan be fulfilled in Jesus' name, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Father, we are so grateful for your presence, especially in our children's life. I pray that you stretch your hand, touch each one of them, fill them with your Holy Spirit, give them a desire to excel in everything, in their studies, in their life, in their spiritual life, and I pray that there will be the light that is lit and that is placed in the high place. And I pray that they will grow in your wisdom. They will realize your calling every day. And they will be proud because they are followers of Jesus Christ. Their skin color may not be white, but that's a gift from you. They may speak English a little bit with accent, but that can be a gift from you. God, I pray that they will open their hearts. They will embrace the whole world. And they will look at faces who do not know you and perishing each day. And I pray that their love for you and for the world For your kingdom will grow every day. And they will reach out to your spirit. And they will draw strength from your Holy Spirit every moment. Every time they call you, I pray that you reach out and touch them and speak to them. And assure them that I have called you. I have a special plan for you. And you are important for your kingdom. They are special. They are special because you have called them by name. We just want to thank you for their lives. We just want to thank you for their churches. We want to thank you for their parents who sacrificially work every day. Sometimes are swallowing their pride. For the sake of their children, I pray and I pray that these children will grow, grow in the presence and grow in the knowledge and grow in your grace every day. And the people and the classmates will recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives. They will not be afraid to stretch their hands, to bless their friends, praying for the sick and those who are struggling. And the friends will, one by one, come to them and confess that God is in their lives. We bless each one of them. Give them a double portion of your blessing and your spirit. They will grow calling your name, and I pray, and I pray that they will be excited because they are living and called by you, God himself. We just give you all the glory and all the honor because of your life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Amen, hallelujah. God bless you. All right. You're a big kid.
งดำเลตัวอีสักเตสงฟันมอดนนมนาอันนี้ยมเลยมาตัวตมวัลเล็กเสียงวาเซนคาตาพีไทยดิ่งมอดนนาวันนี้นัดเจอพอลิลโอเคด็อกเตอร์มาวีฮาวซัมควอชันริกาดิ่งยูร์เลคเชอร์เอฟวีแคนดูปริซายลีโอเคเชลนนอินฟันเฮนลาตัวคิดตักเสียงนะ First of all, we are so thankful, and your impact is very uh, precious. And uh, I would like to ask one question. You mentioned about the Korean parents and churches that they concern about the Sunday school. Uh, what language to use in the Sunday school? Can you uh, explain it? And which one is better to to teach in our own language or in English? เชลียนตัวเชลียนเอาดดเป็นคูเรียปอลพีเตสงะมอฮิตเงาตุงซาคูเรียเตสงะซานเอสกูลามังเปาจังดิงมอคูเรียนเปาจังดิงจิตัวอเมากิดดนาเนมอตัวอุมพีเลจี There are two sides uh, to this question มูนานำนี่อมจีฮิดนา What is the desire of the first generation for their children to continue the language And culture of of uh, your own nation. Nuta pa de de ina hi mangkang gabom tale amawi Korean pao to mo anakat azop swak to nang pao te nang tua pen amaw de ina bulpihi je. Because uh, there is no other institution uh, besides the church. Oftentimes, church also functions as a community center. Um, บางอย่างจีเล่ฮิอ่าบางอย่างอ่าปอลพิซิมโลมั้งปอลพิซิมโลตัวบางอ่ามาวีอ่าอ่านุ่นตังนาทีโลนังมั้งอาดังอมโลฮิจีปอลพิเบคิจ์ So in in many Korean churches they operate the Korean language classes for their children as well. กูเรียปอลพิอัตมโซอ่าอกูเรียนเปาตัวฮิฮิจีอ่า class ฮงฮิจี But But in my view, the most important function of the church is to communicate the gospel so that the people of God will be nurtured in the gospel. So you will have to decide which Language will be most effective in teaching your children and communicating the scriptural truth. So in a no le no i ken sa ding mo hin te chi a kui to kui zang leng mang pao mo a Korean mo a zo pao mo zang leng a kui zo to ti zo zo ding hiem chi no le no i na 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 ken sa ding hin te chi. That also means that the first generation members should understand this priority. At the same time, to the younger generation, it is also important. If you look like Burmese, but you think, talk, and live like American, forgetting all your Burmese heritage. You do not have any advantage. Hmm. So we hear a bit of Nanga Isuzia, na kampausia le, na 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 nun tagzia pen, mangkang bang tebang na nun tag le mate, na nun tag le tua pao na sa tete hangi na akiman na umlochi mo tua America tebang na nun tag kay le, so we ba na nun tag tete le akiman na umtuan lochi. I have two boys, and the younger one was born in the Philippines. Tani na yung ina, ane uso pa ng Filipina sa akin. He never lived in Korea. He never lived in Korea. Oh, amat kule tengi lo chi. He studied in a missionary school and then did high school in America and the university in America. Filipina sa missionary sa nga ka to chiang na 
high school ka to to je america tun chang na america university ka hi je and i realized that he looks like korean but he is all in all american mama korean me la po kha nga ta da nga sudan ke to ku american de hi je one time i sat down with him and discussed khat ve tu kho me na ki ku mong je if i'm the boss of a company ke company a alien pen hileng company nei pa hileng if you are applying for a job in my company nang ke ke anga na sebong shao ri ngile chin if i have a two korean americans applying a korean america swa kin ma ko korea mi hi na america swa kin mi ni na ong sia wi le na sebong sia wi le and if one speaks english as well as korean the other one only english who should i employ mi kha jina english le korean pao khom thei ding na mi kha jina korean be english be pao ding na tu hi le nang koi na pezo diam chi if you can have another language another culture besides english and american culture that it will be always an important uh, asset to you yeah um america culture america te jian chimu hi lo adang mo mi nam dang te jian chimu pen nei hi le chin mo mi rang mi nam dang te om dan thei hi le chin to pen advantage mo chu phi jo hi chin you and i are different from european americans nang le ke pen hi he america zuru panang pa hi america kang te to ki bang lo hi ang italians came the second generation you to to not know whether he is an italian or american Italy gam khong panong pai te tu as as a khang thak te na ama Italy dan the na lo mo american swak ta hi but second generation of a burmese you will always a khang thak te le bamis kol kol mi ma hi ding hi chi ahi dong ina kol mi ta sang ina stand out che ha because people will recognize you as an asian uh as burmese and people will expect mm. you to understand your culture and be able to speak your own language call me na na mel dan pen call hi ding ina ahyang na om dan na ta dan na ngai sudan pen mang kang te hi ding ina ahyong na na bang chidi ana na khat na mo na sep thei na pen tam dri hi chi so i'm glad that my second son is living in korea learning to become a good korean and he's enjoying katat ne zo na korea omina korea pao sinina korea dan hi na ding na tole ta ka sin lai hi na to kong da chi so the for the newer generation always work hard to preserve the language and culture of your own e khang no te na tua i yen chi mu le i i i na khat i kam pao te ba i hak sama ma hi chi chep te na thank you all right that my question is concerning we talk you talk about um uh, catholic charismatic um how do you see is it doctrine matter because uh they are even though uh the practice charismatic but they still i believe they still have um catholic doctrine kind of mary as a co redeemer or uh doing rosary thing is it m does it that things matter or they can change they will change how do you think about that uh okay um he rc pana charismatic mo e e na khat dan kam tom khong pa wi na to na khat te mo a si sung mao ma yang charismatic mo a si charismatic a si piang thak ti pang ni mo ayang amao hi mary tung ma thu nge nin ma to mary pen ri su to ki banga ai tengu hi chi pang mo to changa khi khin kho khin to pen a ki sam lai ma ya mai ke le a khel ku ri ngem chi ke thei no phi chi te to ka da ke uh that is a difficult question eh hi pen hak sama ma thu kha ji ji but let's put this way ah hai dan in koi ni 
if there are two thirds of the world population still to be reached. We have a lot of work to do. And oftentimes, uh, we need to fight less among ourselves and work harder to reach out the rest. Having said that, it, it, it doesn't mean that every church is perfect. Catholic Church had 2,000 years of tradition that they have been developing. Catholic Tena Kumtul ni Sungbang Mate Amao Bang Jedi Alet Kip no Akeng Mama and I soon long simple Zeneo Hitch. And definitely there are certain doctrines that are problematic. Um a doctrine a two let Zia Hon Kat Benbel, a Pietana Mama Hon Kat Bel on Hitch. That one has to do with the position of Mary. I wouldn't worry about uh, rosaries. But uh, uh, what is the position of Mary can be very uh, problematic. Mary, I didn't want to be Careful Catholics will say that they do not worship Mary, but venerate or respect Mary. Um, those who say that I I have no problem to fellowship. Uh, I also found that uh, there are many wonderful Catholic believers who thoroughly uh, accepts what we evangelicals would believe. Mm, Catholic tampita ei ubang mai na um mi tampita tokitua kitua ngayeng che. It is wonderful to worship with Catholic charismatics speaking in tongues and are praying for healing together. So have an open mind and believing that there are wonderful brothers and sisters in different churches. Even if, even if they worship differently and they behave differently. After all, we are all different. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, กวามาเป็นมาตอเอ่อหุยปันปะปะโลดิงมอเป็นสิเลอะไมอะตองอะมาตอปะเสียนอะซานมออีเตอีเตอโลดิงอะยังตัวเตเป็นมาตอหุย
Igam a biang nam makai lian pi pi pol khatina hi esoran sat salvation to kitel kul lo hi en kitel ding ma han chiam adiak dek a hi assembly sub god te bain na gen ma mai ve a hang biak nam makai pi pol khatina kei kiang ma ma sia to sa a Gupiat na bekta na kigen te lohi. Ong chi om mau kai ve to pen bang ni chi tam. Ima kai bi bi hi he. Reverend Gohnang came from Burma, visit from Burma. He is one of Assembly of Sub God Presbyter. He is asking about great leaders, Christian leaders in our country. Believe that we don't have to have a sure enough salvation. Assurance. Yeah, a sure enough salvation. But Assembly of God emphasized, stressed strongly on we need to have a sure enough salvation. So, how do you see? Um, I don't want to be like a Muslim. Mm, Muslim, Muslim. They do not know whether they go to paradise or not until they die. Hey, I like to know that I am saved and I will be with the Lord when I'm done with this life. <coughs> Now, uh, that does not mean that I need to know which day and which time I was saved. Salvation I think it is the power and grace and the sacrificial work of Jesus Christ that paid my old sins and I am clean before the Lord. Only when we have, uh, we are sure of our salvation in Christ, we can move on to like a mission and serving others uh, even uh, serving the church he gup na kitel chian kitel chian sin sana in ine tak chang ba kina mission ke sam the evangelist ke sam the pastor ke sam the patient na ke sam the be ki cha i think that's thank you what i can Kriya. say Kay don no pen. A pen the coastal then a pen. Kasiang to baptize na mate. Kam to am pao na. Inga tak cha isung lam pana ang pool niya to. I pao hun. Midang take and kay bang tom mama. Nga bang nga. Ayang ki hop si ma i pao hen pe upen. I pana ang pool hilo ina. I pao ngay kat i pao. Eh. In a hat, I bow here pay a more. Isung pana on pool here, I come to omelet. Isung lampana on pool, I hit one lower. I come to omelet, sir, I bow me, I do a pen. He is asking, we Pentecostal believers speak in tongues. We, we, a lot we speak in tongues. But sometimes, mostly, when he speak, it, it doesn't come not necessarily out of. Uh, forced by the the inner force, but uh, he already has the speaking tongue, so he just speak, not necessarily arch from the, the inside. So, how how is that? How do you think? All right, um, we humans are are quite conditioned by our habits. Ming uh, tapen banginong ong ukiam chile. So I, I'm sure that uh, there may be moments that 
will simply mimic the speaking in tongues because we know it. Ah, moments they bang in a to a ikam tom to ipaw na penong ching te hije. But I see it this way. Hibang danin moing. It's like a pump when when you want to pump your water, you need to put a little bit of water, right? Hey, ek bukong a to a kwate atan takjang a ipam pen mado ipam I like to think that even if in the beginning it may be that my desire to speak in tongues lead to to initiate the whole process as we we continue in the presence of the Lord it will eventually become a powerful experience of the Holy Spirit. And it is, again, the pump, real water will come later. Amasai na, bang jidi ingi ya, isung pa na nakat na to hipa akhor kenjin ayang tua, isung pa na taan na mo tua, ng luan kya te na nga, en pao put, tua te tua ina, taang peleo labin, tua to mo, ihi, Therefore, I tend to encourage to speak out and begin to pray in tongues, even if you don't feel like. In Not, the, uh, especially with with others uh, joining, we we can easily join the move of the spirit. คนเงินพดพลเลจินตัวอดังเต็งเป็นองค์กิจมตัวตัวดิ้งจีนะมวยจีนอ๋อไรเฮ้ยสลบเอเมนสักกันโดนของใครอีกมั้งตัวตัว
but everything including God's grace comes with our own proper response to it. Because it is always like like a clapping. You need a God's move, but also our response. Therefore, hypergrace may be emphasizing just one side of this wonderful theme, but ignoring the other side. He mm. For example, healing. We know that God promised, but also it is God's uh, God's decision for some not to be healed at this time. Um, again, the Nana China China dam na bang pen. Pasian ni na China dam na dehi je. Mo ayang tu na chungen ding na tua tuliana Adam kele zong pasian dey na omhi je. So balance becomes an important part. Tu ay man na akile kim ang kisam ma ma hi je. Thank you very much. Thank you. Siya mang. Last two questions. Last two questions. Kim ka don nop. Gumna kitan te hiam, kitan te lo hiam ci eji polpi te ukna ki ngakna tua ngdong inge. Okay. Can we lose salvation? Eji believe in that and so can we? Can we lose salvation? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because again. It is not only the overwhelming grace of God, but also our response. And oftentimes, uh, even in the scripture, we read that some, some really grieves the Holy Spirit. And uh, the consequence becomes quite serious. Um, therefore, I, th I know where, where some of these questions are coming from. Mm. Is, whether Calvinistic, uh, predestination or is Armenianistic again it is it is important to make a balance because God's grace uh, works fully as we respond appropriately Pasyan happy na pen en um na to isan tak siya nga gub na aki nga hin at dun dun in to pasyan happy na niyali na mo niyali na nung asan ina i um na eh Nakalayang mo, ilu iup na nuselehang mo, tua gub na ipaite na ngomlo, tua pen itil din kesa. But oftentimes it it is helpful to see how we parents deal with our children. Nule pa na itate to bangcida na kisesan hiyam ci itil din belkat omje. Is there a possibility that they will uh, they will, they will lose their relationship with me. Theoretically, yes, it is possible. Now, nule pala na upang te kisom na i kanwebe je itel dinga kisom na mo i sesanji sesam mu mato kita sa tayam kita sa tayhi je kita sa tayhi je mo. But as a parent, I don't know. Nule pala ni ne to do. 
everything you could do before you give up. Now, bang day to nga na let me on my na na he take zai na to a na ta to ma na ta tu mang loi zong to a to na he take zai na na kisses an ang pen na ha kat kul hi je. That is revealed, for example, in the Old Testament, how God was persistently trying to save His own people. To be like that, Hallelujah, patient in a meeting, te mo meeting te ong ong na kajang sa sanjia hiji patient ong pay kikik mato gente na na goma le azibang mo patient in a to a wa wa na kanukyang wa pay inji mo wa nazipen. Jasan mo tu aku yang lupa ini lewat sam kikin, aje pasti ada yang payah kikin kena nakat kiki je. Alright, the last one. Praise the Lord. The last one is Assemblies of God Church doctrine, and one of the men of God comment one of our big doctrine baptism in the Holy Spirit. We Assemblies of God Church believe that. The evidence of the initial evidence of initial evidence of baptism in the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongue. And he said that I have a lot of assemblies of assemblies of God Church friends. They testify that they are they all are baptized in the Holy Spirit. They speak in tongue, but they don't have power. That's how it may not, it, it, it cannot be settled by saying that the initial evidence of baptism in the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongue. What do you think of that? Wow, you are testing my Assemblies of God credential. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I do believe uh, Assemblies of God just doctrine, but I am dilemma. That's how I ask, I okay. ask you. Would you like to uh, translate? <laughs> oh, I pasien misa ma ma khadina. Amazon uh, as it a yellow hello, alarm TV baby. No as it and pen. Hasunga baptai na pen, kam tuan pau na hi cilian geu mau kucina. Ayang akam tuan pau te pen in pau wane ke kei mau ken doi la hall ke kei in cina chunge sakte la dam kei mau ken tua to ke settle telo ding hi adang om lai ding hi ung cie beman. Ama a ezi temura na to hilo pasian in ama azat na to ke sayang cina kei zong pen ezi um na kau panga. Kau yang bel, tom kat kalung hima opian aje be. Kam tom pa pau te tua kat si, tu nak kan sokte mian dam zia zia. Doi na hol kat te tai kat pa zia, kidong leh cint. Kei tua mana om kai zia ngah, kalung semua nong kai sakit tuan. Alright, let me begin that the kingdom of God is much greater than the assemblies of God. Amen. Okay, pasien gampen. Ezi polpi sang tang zai zohi ji. But denominational doctrines may not be perfect. Mi te polpi te pua to mo i tukun izu i doctrine te pen kiching lo te le lo ding hi ji. But the word of God is. Ayang pasyan kamal pen kiching lo hi kiching hi ji. Now within the assemblies of God that has been always debated whether that that is that that particular doctrine is has a sound basis in the scripture. Ezi Paul pisung mama tu apen bang cedia abuai pi aki kup kup katu hiji. I'm I'm a biblical scholar, so I I'm not necessarily entering into this doctrinal debate. Kepen i bang ya. Lai siang tau bulpu ma, lai siang tau bulpu. Mipil kahi mana nak? Kei um na pen tua doktrin tu ngak king akses eh king akses eh um keng king akei aje nama he. I researched enough on the scriptures 
on, on the Spirit of God and the Holy Spirit. In the uh, Old Testament, the, perhaps the most ideal picture of the Spirit of God is found in Isaiah 42. It is different from Samson, it's different from Saul, it is different from many charismatically empowered leaders. Samson it is about uh, a, a servant of the Lord. And is uh, beloved of God. And it is quite interesting that this empowered leader is not going to have physical or military power as Samson did or Gideon did. To pasyan vangle na apiyak pai na to as Gideon te Samson te hi bangina bang chiringia gal gal tha na gal zo na gal lag zo na pen aneiding chi bang hilo hi chi hi hi na kasunga mo again na. The mark of the Spirit's empowerment is fulfilling God's calling in spite of all the difficulties. Pasian, pas, pasian, kasiang to dim na i akila na pen. Pasian yung sap na muna tumanta ka izo na pen. Tua pen, tua pen hiji pa kasiang to kidim na ma. And I did a little bit of counting in the book of Acts. Ah, ah, soltak lai siang to zong ening je. Who has the most reference references to the Holy Spirit? กูเป็นในสอลตักสงอคิเกนสอลตักเตลกะกูเป็นในน่ะเอ่อคัสยังโทโตกิซอมน่ะในเป็นเฮมจิมูอิมจีอ่านัมเบอร์วันอิสอ
X 18 Oh, te chi panna. Eh, tu hai pai te chi panna. Lei mong dong amo. Pai te chi panna to pen kasiang tu dim na mo. Tu esak tu tu hai na esak na hiche. So whether there will be a powerful miracles or healings or there is a courageous and conviction preaching, I think they are all empowered by the Holy Spirit. Na lam dang apiang apiang kai zong in. Atu pi bang hiam chi le, to vang le na to, kasiang to vang le na to paya, te chi panga mo, si nga ma nasip azo na pen, to pen kasiang to kidim na. So it is important to recognize that it's not the speaking in tongues, but it is the baptism in the Holy Spirit that brings the power to our witnessing. To ay mani na bang ite i din kesam hiam chi le, kam tuam pao na hike i na, Kasiang to kidim na ina to ina tahong asaka to ina nang sem sa kichi tel din kesa mitch. Thank you. If there is one last question from our younger generation, you are younger. Any anyone? Any one of you? Aman bel hilam hua til tu tengin dong le deh. I mean, if if you you like to ask, if I have grandchildren, that's fine. No question. All right. You think? Saya ham no. Okay. Dong, dong. Yeah, yeah. You're young enough. And when revival broke up, <laughs> we manifest with our own traditional way or culturally. And for example, the Zomi culture, when we are revived, you know, the way we dance, the way we praise the Lord, and the way we roll and we will jump, flip over, <laughs> so on. And uh, with the Korean culture, uh, how is your revival significance on this, those moments and atmospheres? And do you think we should have the same kind of actions, manifestations, or is it all right to do with our own traditional way, culturally? Thank you. Well, that's a good question. Um, uh, don't know him, there is one standard manifestation of any spiritual uh, uh, feelings. Kato kalau sana hiya ilah kian nabil nama kan belum mah hi na standard kan mahu sanjeng kan belum mah. That's one beauty of Christianity. It is there is a diversity. Ah hi tu apa yang kat sini nama kat sini pin ayang anam tuam tu akat tuam tuam mazong om leh leh mete kila kian nabil tuam tuam mazong om leh leh Christian ni cik am kat belakang ni cengah cah aki kah ilah kian nabil nom tuam om leh diversity cik tak terbang cah. Not only revival, but also worship can be quite different within the assemblies of God churches in Africa and Asia. And I realized that you you people are very musical and you really enjoy the music. Ki yung muna siya ka bel no po bel music lam pen de ma ma na music dan kong to akalson ma ma ngi na ane dan hi nung muing. 
and your dance, your very colorful dress, yeah. and uh, many <laughs> are coming together for days and days eating together. They are all wonderful expressions of the presence of the spirit. No, direct, direct, pain. No, lam, da, no, dian, da, no. That the, no, pon, sil, te, ma, mong, ka, la, tuom, tuom, ma, kong, hi, na, tuom, la, ko, om. An it hapaya om no hila moon san ne hom zel, fellow shim kilom tana hong ne hom zel chi bang dan om dan tepen ke yung mu dan hi. Koreans will have a very different expressions of the spirit's presence. Eh to bang dan e kure tapen hi a kata ki zom na tuam katong ne kata yi ding. They will they will go to a prayer mountain and they will pray whole night uh, mm -hmm. in the mountain and oftentimes you struggle with a small pine tree. Uh, <laughs> But it's different. Therefore, don't be afraid to bring your own genuine expression of praise and your adoration to God as the Spirit gives you. After all, remember, Christian is not a Western religion. Jesus was born in Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I share with Amen.